IC10, Encyclopedia, Maturing. Getting older under new management, guided by the forces of the universe, your sacred council. Discover the secrets of the universe, which reveals an assembly or circle of 32 laws of universe and nature, or better said, the guiding forces of universe and nature, such as duality, time, change, attraction, cause and effect, order, place and function, and many more. We are all looking for change, struggling in so many ways and aspects of our life. We may have an advisor, a healthcare practitioner, a nutritionist, personal trainer, or even a lifestyle coach, but we don't have access to them all day long. So enter the circle of vital and aware living and meet the sacred council, your personal lifestyle and awareness coaching team, always ready to assist you in every moment and in any circumstance. We are like visitors in a foreign country without knowing the laws and how everything functions in that world. We know a lot about the things of the modern world, but know little about the basics of life. See how they assist us with every step we make and with every breath we take and make them practical in your daily life in dealing with your real self, your soul, your mind and your thoughts, your body, words and communication, nutrition, fitness, your life partner, children, the teenage years, getting older, stress, weight, disease, emotions, business, destructive habits, preserving the planet, studying and friendships. For more, deal in, for more detailed information on each of the guiding forces, see the intro booklet. There are endless words that can be connected to any subject. And each subject can have many books because each subject can be approached from various perspectives or angles. Most important, however, is not to forget that all that is said or written is merely an opinion, a truth and not the truth. Because the spoken and written word is part of the creative world created in opposites, constantly changing and bound to time, and there is always more that can be said or written about any subject. Regarding me and the Sacred Council members talking about any subject, note that this understanding applies to that information as well. The information is from, from their particular point of view and brought to you through the world of visionary and mystical fiction. Hopefully, it contributes to your life and assists you to experience life in a more conscious, mystical and magical way. By hearing or reading this information, you will come to the conclusion that you know this already, and you do, because this is part of your universal and spiritual inheritance. And often, we just need one word or a sentence that inspires and motivates us to do things differently or to think about a certain subject from a different perspective. The Guiding Force of the Creator Make God a Reality in Your Life In regards to dealing with getting older, know that after your physical birth, you are all getting older and one day you will lay off this physical body. Realize this in regards to all your energy spent. Is there also some left for the soul and the creator and being prepared for the home journey? When you would become older and mature, are you still putting all your energy out into the world of mind and matter or are you finally facing the fact that your body soon had its time? You can live forever, but not in the realm and dimension you're in at the moment. And it's real prayer that will get you out of there. Quote, Life does not begin with birth and end with death. We are an expression of the infinite life, which has no beginning and shall never come to an end. Uzur Maharaj Charan Singh Ji End of quote.
the guiding force of the universal teacher. Master or be mastered. In regards to dealing with getting older, do you realize that you either mature with the successes and the knowledge regarding the world, or master a wisdom greater than yourself? Just as you master the things in the material world, you have to master your mind in order to find that spiritual you, and then you must walk the path and you can stop talking about it. Quote, all true wise thoughts have been thought already thousands of times, but to make them truly ours, we must think them over again honestly, till they take root in our personal experience. Johann Wolfgang von Goethe. End of quote. The guiding force of the power of the mind. Know the tricks of your mind. In regards to dealing with getting older, do different activities in order not to abuse the body and realize that although death can come any minute, it becomes a definite reality when getting older. You can make practical arrangements in regards to your wishes, what should be done when, when your body dies. You can organize papers that are useful for your family members. Have you prepared yourself for the journey? You can also ignore the fact that you have to lay off your body and use the mind to distract yourself with the endless mortal pleasures of the world, but they will bring you little. Quote, For death begins with life's first breath, and life begins at touch of death. John Oxenham. End of quote. The guiding force of the true disciple. Follow the master and the teachings. In regards to dealing with getting older, know that you are never finished walking the path of being a follower and disciple when following a spiritual master and spiritual path. Slowly seeing the end of your physical existence, you can stop following that and those you followed before and you can stop following the dictates of your mind and the sense organs and the endless desires that will keep you empty-handed. To serve the spiritual side of you is a 24-hour job. There are no breaks or vacation, and the soul within will only find rest until it has merged with him and has returned to God. You cannot lay back or retire, for the mind is always wanting you to go out in the world, and only when you have reached your original home and be with him can you truly rest. Quote, Lord, thou madest us for thyself, and we can find no rest till we find rest in thee. St. Augustine. End of quote. The guiding force of your inner hero. Be the hero of your own life adventure. In regards to dealing with getting older, there is a danger while getting older and having many scars physically, emotionally and mentally, and it is easy to lose courage. Without daring something new, or not, been, or not being able to fight the inner fight or resisting temptations, is giving up in one's own adventure. The life of a hero is a job for a lifetime, and we must be on guard every moment because the greatest enemy, the mind, is right within us. Quote, a mind at peace, a mind centered and not focused on harming others, is stronger than any physical force in the universe. Wayne Dyer. End of quote. The guiding force of maturity and wisdom. Learn from the wise elders and nature. In regards to dealing with getting older, no, there is no need to fear death, as it is just laying off a garment. A garment that will be recycled and used for something else. Quote, Even death is not to be feared by one who has lived wisely.
Buddha. End of quote. The entire world is a recycling system of matter changing into something else. And the real true self never dies as well as it is part of the eternal ocean of love. The only pain connected to death is our attachments, attachments to people and things that you came without and will go without. Quote, Man's life does not commence in the womb and never ends in the grave. Uzur Marwaj Charan Singhji, end of quote. You live in fear in regards to many things and forget that life is an adventure in which there are no securities. Only the void and new discoveries, adventures and experiences. When you stay with your fears, you will be unable to live the adventure. Just listen to the short-lived stories that people tell before they depart. When you would truly really have lived, you would need at least half a lifetime to tell your story. Quote, it is not death that a man should fear, but he should fear never beginning to live. Marcus Aurelius. End of quote. Most of you are busy saving and ensuring the future and you pay a big price for this most of you are busy with one or more kinds of savings for ensuring the future such as acquiring possessions like land and houses saving accounts and banks investments and stocks having a big family in the hope children will take care of the parents later in life pension plans taking various insurances all the above mentioned is basically okay However, when this is done based on fear, it will automatically take away from our momentary taking care of ourselves and being frantically only busy with the future. Quote, the fear of death often proves mortal and sets people on methods to save their lives, which infallibly destroys them. Joseph Addison End of quote. The guiding force of fantasy and magic. Live your life as a magical adventure. In regards to dealing with getting older, know that when you become older, that you have a chance to relive that inner child again. It seems to be part of the movie of life that you have to experience the serious world in order to become a child again. It is strange that children love the elder, and the elder the children, they understand each other. So stop connecting to the normal and norm accepted you, and step into the world of fantasy and magic again. Quote, To be normal is the ideal aim of the unsuccessful. Carl Gustav Jung, end of quote. The guiding force of translating messages. Decipher the symbolic meaning of messages. In regards to dealing with getting older, do you understand that when getting older and not wanting to see the world as it is anymore, that you could contribute losing your eyesight? Could you see a connection between getting stubborn with getting inflexible and stiff? Can you see a connection between not wanting to hear things anymore and getting problems with your hearing? Do you detect all the premature old age symptoms starting at a, at a young age? Start to pay attention before things get worse in regards to all the symptoms you are already facing right now. Do something about it and possibly you can assist others growing up and not paying attention to the endless messages showing imbalances. Quote, if I do known I was going to live so long, I have taken better care of myself. Leon Eldred, end of quote. The guiding force of the energy of solids and earth. Feel connected 
and keep on experiencing new. In regards to dealing with getting older, the older you become, the lesser you need, and the lesser you need in life, the lesser responsibilities you have. So give away as much as possible. Quote, the saddest thing I can imagine is to get used to luxury. Charlie Chaplin, end of quote. The older you become, the more evidence you have that there is very little you can control. Becoming older, you have had an opportunity to be the earth and grounding element for the younger ones. As you become more aware of the countdown towards death, let's start preparing for the inevitable to come. Let's keep in mind that death actually doesn't exist. The elements from which you are made of, they recycle themselves, and your real self, the soul, lives forever. So the adventure continues. The pain connected to death are just your attachments to a world you cannot take anything from. Attach yourself to God through whatever means and the detachments will take place without pain. Quote, Many have not been told that birth into a physical world is a death in the spiritual world from which they came. Hence, most are never aware that death in the physical world is merely a birth into another dimension of life. Jess Holmes, end of quote. The guiding force of the energy of liquids and water. Go with the flow and in moderation. In regards to dealing with getting older, know that the older you become, the more evidence you have that nothing works out exactly as planned. For this reason, you can become more flexible while getting older. The world has already too many people getting older getting stiff, stubborn and sick. But why not getting older, being flexible, creative and vital? The youngsters need these kind of examples. Getting older is an opportunity to reconnect with your inner child and taking life less serious and playing with the youngsters on their level. Quote, we don't stop playing because we grow old. We grow old because we stop playing. George Bernard Shaw, end of quote. The guiding force of the energy of heat and fire. Pace yourself in order to digest. In regards to dealing with getting older, know that the older you become, the more patience you can show, as you have the experience that any rush doesn't bring anything in the long run. Getting older is an opportunity to become more gentle in all your actions, as you hopefully have learned to forgive yourself and others, with the understanding that everybody has their individual life adventure. The older you become, the more you have experienced that fear is just an illusion, and that you can just love it all. You see the evidence in the past that anger doesn't bring anything other than more anger, struggle and confusion. Slow down even more now and really enjoy each moment in life's adventure. And by doing things slower, you can digest it all better. Quote, Good character is not formed in a week or a month. It is created little by little, day by day. Protracted and patient effort is needed to develop good character. Reliculus of Ephesus. End of quote. The guiding force of the energy of gases and air. Embrace, endure, and love it all. In regards to dealing with getting older, know that the older you become, the more evidence you have that you have endured situations in life and can be of a guide for the youngsters who tend to give up too soon. 
Getting older is an opportunity to become more loving and caring in all your actions, as you have learned that all is a beautiful but momentary gift. Quote, Attachment to the body ends in pain, because the body is changeable and perishable. Mental attachments fare no better either. Man is endowed with the power of detaching himself from body and mind, hence. It is incumbent upon him to develop this power and be free from the ills of body and mind. The easiest way to do this is to associate himself with something which is beyond the body and mind. And that is the sound current. Maharaj Sawan Singh, end of quote. The older you become, the more you have experienced that attaching yourself to anything is a foolish game in the world of change, where things and people come and go. You realize that love from your heart is limited, and you seek to get closer to God, whose love is unlimited. Let's stay an active part in the world and keep on circulating, going. Maturing is a present that just, like anything else, needs to be embraced. The guiding force of ether connected to audible sounds and verbal communication. Realize that everything you hear and say is just an opinion. In regards to dealing with getting older, the older you become, the more evidence you have that you can speak less and listen more, and mostly nice conversation will come out of it. Quote, For let me tell you that the more the pleasures of the body fade away, the greater to me is the pleasure and charm of a conversation. Plato. End of quote. Watch out to keep an open ear, as you may cause hearing problems to yourself. Realize that all is just a matter of opinion and perspective. The closer you get to the end, the more you possibly want to speak without words with the Creator inside. Maturing is a present that, when done with wisdom, speaks for itself. Quote, Talking comes by nature, silence by wisdom. Proverb. End of quote. The guiding force of ether connected to the conditioned mind, associations and non-audible communication. Stay aware of your limited and conditioned realities. In regards to dealing with getting older, hopefully the older you become, the more evidence you have that thoughts are just as more powerful than words and that you can help yourself, others and the world better with the most positive thoughts. Hopefully you have realized that the greatest enemy is yourself, your mind, and that most struggles are within yourself. The closer you get to the end of your physical life, the more you possibly want to communicate with your Creator and preparing yourself for the next journey. You have associated yourself with the things of the world, which you will have to leave behind. Associate more with the real self, the soul and the Creator. Maturing is a present that when done with wisdom vibrates from within you and it speaks for itself. Be more alone as you came alone and will depart alone. Quote, you cannot be lonely if you like the person you are alone with. Wayne Dyer, end of quote. The guiding force of ether connected to the universal mind, higher virtues and soul communication. Observe yourself. In regards to dealing with getting older, you hopefully realize that the older you become, the more evidence you have that this world is an illusion in which you cannot hold on to anything. The older you become, the more you hopefully long to go back to your real home and reconnect with the soul within through silent prayer and meditation, catching the sound current. Quote, you want knowledge? Knowledge lays within you. Sound current is knowledge. The more you study it, the higher you rise, 
and the wiser you become. Maharaj Sawan Singh. End of quote. The older you become, you hopefully also become wiser how to view and communicate with a higher perspective and realizing that all visitors are struggling souls, either to survive and wanting things of this mortal world or struggling to become whole again. Hopefully you have become a global and universal father or mother and are there for any of the children of the world when in need. Enjoying the years while getting older and slowly detaching yourself from the things of the world and getting attached to something that goes with you forever. Quote, while you are alive, conquer death and you shall have no regrets in the end. Sri Guru Granth Sahib. End of quote. The Guiding Force of Duality Accept and deal with the duality in everything and everybody. In regards to dealing with getting older, stay aware that there were the times that when you were young connected to many positive and negative experience, and so it will be when maturing. Don't get fooled that retirement and even having plenty of money is going to give you a one-sided and secure life. Life is a two-sided adventure. And it is about dealing with and going through the such called unwanted side. You may be counting the years that you still might have before you have to lay off this mortal coil. However, physical death is part of the adventure. You cannot run away from it, nor do you need to fear it. Life and death, its opposites, are from the same coin. Quote, For life and death, are one, even as the river and the sea are one. Kahil Gibran. End of quote. The guiding force of time. Learn to live in the moment. In regards to dealing with getting older, are you still trying to do too much as if time is running out? Life doesn't start in the cradle and doesn't end in the grave. Realize that you, the real you, has all the time in the world, because that lives forever. Quote, Time ripens all things. No man is born wise. Miguel de Cervantes. End of quote. The guiding force of change. Learn to go with the ever-changing adventure. In regards to dealing with getting older, are you struggling with trying to hold on to your old ways and how things were in the past? Life is an ever-changing adventure, and change is the key to stay young and playful. What is the security in life? Have you not seen so many things and people coming and going? Quote, now understanding that anything can change in the blink of an eye, what do you want to do differently in your life, right now? What can you do differently that will bring more love and joy into your life immediately? What would you say and to whom? And finally, what is stopping you from saying it? Why not live like each day is your last? No, you have lived to the fullest without any regrets. Bianca Guerra, end of quote. The Guiding Force of Cycles Tune into the Natural Cycles of Life In regards to dealing with getting older, are you still trying to do too many things that do not belong in the stage of your life anymore? You ending up with physical pain or frustration? Enjoy the activities that belong to your age and cycle in your own life. Quote, life is a frail moth flying caught in the web of the years that pass. Sarah Teasdale, end of quote. The guiding force of balance. It is nature's duty to recreate balance. In regards to dealing with getting older, have you found a balance without having to work? 
It is finding new and healthy and positive ways to fill in the time during the day in order to feel balanced. Be more in silence, connecting with your real self, your soul and your creator, for only there can you find peace and equilibrium. Enjoy the sound of, the sound of silence in which you find happiness, contentment, harmony and wisdom. Words are very limited and cannot describe it. Quote, he who does not understand your silence will probably not understand your words. Albert Hubbard. End of quote. The guiding force of necessities. Simplicity is the key. In regards to dealing with getting older, are you still trying to want and do too much? Finally, you are at an age where you need less and do not need to do as much in the past. Enjoy the simplicity of life and keep it all simple. Quote, simplicity is the final achievement. After one has played a vast quantity of notes and more notes, it is simplicity that emerges as the crowning reward of art. Frederic Chopin, end of quote. The guiding force of wholeness. No need to go more into separation. In regards to dealing with getting older, are you still looking to get it all together? Haven't you realized that there will always be something missing until you reunite with the soul and the creator? So gather all your strength and focus to become one with who you really are and unite and you will unite with everything at the same time as that essence is in all. Quote, and thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, and with all thy soul, and with all thy mind, and with all thy strength. This is the first commandment. Mark 12.30 End of quote. The guiding force of comprehension. There is always more than you can see or comprehend. In regards to dealing with getting older, are you trying to look back in your life and figuring out why things happened or what is to come? Some things may look very obvious, obvious, but the history why goes further back than we can trace with our intellect and conditioned memory bank inside your mind. The question may arise, could I have done things differently? Obviously not, otherwise you would have done so. But based on your experience and new awareness, you may be able to do things different now. Quote, Once you develop awareness, you will have a new confidence. Ma Jaya Sati Bhagavati. End of quote. The guiding force of improvement and perfection. There is always room for improvement. In regards to dealing with getting older, have you realized by now that you are living in an imperfect world? Know, however, that there is always room for improving oneself. It is time when you have not started the process to reconnect with your soul, which is already perfect, and slowly letting go of your attachments to the imperfect things of the imperfect world. At the same time, it is enjoying to live in this imperfect world and seeing the beauty in it all. Quote, we are human beings and we have this marvelous brain and marvelous heart, so there is potential to develop, to develop a proper mental attitude through which we can have a happy, more peaceful life. Dalai Lama, end of quote. The guiding force of order, place and function. Everything is part of an order and has a function and place. In regards to dealing with getting older, are you out of the working world and feeling out of place? Learn to enjoy life, being out of the rat race. Or was your self-esteem just based and connected with work and money? Maybe it's time to find out about the real you, and to take a different place in the world by assisting the next generation 
with your experience and wisdom. Quote, when we quit thinking primarily about ourselves and our own self-preservation, we undergo a truly heroic transformation of consciousness. Joseph Campbell, end of quote. The guiding force of cause and effect. Every action has not just one reaction, but causes a chain reaction and creates a reality you have to deal with. In regards to dealing with getting older, are you accepting the realities you have to face? It is not easy to accept that you are the creators of your own realities, but not accepting it will bring you into the role of a victim. But it is never too late to start a more positive and healthy one. Every action has a reaction and a chain reaction and creating the realities you live in. As you mature, keep in mind the reality of life that you have to leave this body behind. Enjoy life on earth, but at the same time make your way back home. Quote, it is a wholesome and necessary thing for us to turn again to the earth and in the contemplation of her beauties to know of wonder and humility. Rachel Carson, end of quote. The guiding force of contraction and expansion. Quality or quantity? In regards to dealing with getting older, are you realizing that the older you get, the more the body contracts and crystallizes? You need to stay flexible in your mind and do anything possible to keep your body flexible in order not to contract too fast and too soon. But, but inevitably your body will return to the earth. In the meantime, you can expand in your inner and spiritual wisdom. Quote, you are to isolate the self from the mind and matter and then trace it to the source of all. Maharaj Sawan Singh, end of quote. The guiding force of repetition. Using the ability to repeat for the right reason and purpose. In regards to dealing with getting older, are you still repeating the same mistakes? Realize that your such called repetitive mistakes are your road signs in your life through which you can check if you are maturing and becoming more wise for without these road signs you would not know if you are progressing life is all about change and the routine creating through repetition is against that creative and adventurous life so change quote your philosophy determines whether you will go for the disciplines or continue the errors. Jim Rohn, end of quote. The guiding force of reflections. All your experiences are a reflection from within yourself. In regards to dealing with getting older, do realize that the image of getting older with all its negative effects is just a distorted picture within your own mind. Few of you are really taking care of yourself in regards to health and vitality. And for that reason, most of you are getting older, stiffer and sicker. The world is in need of different role models and it is never too late to do something. So you can be an example of health flexibility and vitality. Quote, do the right thing. It will gratify some people and astonish the rest. Mark Twain, end of quote. The guiding force of rhythm and vibrations. Realize that what you are, you will attract or repel. In regards to dealing with getting older, do you realize that getting older invites you to a slower rhythm of life? When you do not take this opportunity, you will keep on continuing as it was and wearing yourself out prematurely. At different times in your life, the adventure of life offers you different rhythms. Different activities have different rhythms and certain activities belong to a certain time in your life 
and for that reason life is an ongoing adventure. But you often want to keep on doing the same activities and even with the same intensity your entire life and also causing injuries and unnecessary frustration. Quote, a continuous stream of events, a flow. I am involved with it all, yet I cling to none of it. It is what it is, no big deal. Ramdas, end of quote. The guiding force of service. Learn to serve and care. In regards to dealing with getting older, are you still having some energy left in you? Maybe you have some people around you that serve you, but whatever energy you have left, always try to serve others. For one of the greatest achievements in life is the act of service. Caring and serving has many faces and many special hands, for you can serve with compassion, love, patience, and rendering your ear. You can love unconditionally and accepting how others are. You can let others feel loved and accepted, for who are you to judge anyone? Quote, if you have much, give of your wealth. If you have little, give of your heart. Arab proverb, end of quote. The guiding force of individuality. There is no need for comparing and competing. In regards to dealing with getting older, are you finally giving up the fight of comparing and competing? Realize that you might have the experience and know more how things can go easier, but as long as nobody asks you, these experiences are yours. Everybody needs to go through their own life experience, and in general, not many seek advice. Everybody wants to do things their own way. So do not get frustrated and do not compare yourself by thinking you have the answers to questions that are not even asked. Quote, the most difficult thing in the world is to know how to do a thing and to watch someone else doing it wrong without comment. T. H. White, end of quote.